AI automation agencies will be the next biggest model in online business. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the exact process you need to get started building your own. I'll walk you through the structure, strategies, and actionable steps you can take to replicate our success and start building your own empire. What truly sets AI automation agencies apart is the potential for mass wealth creation. The demand for AI-driven automated solutions is only growing and businesses are willing to invest a ton of money into solutions like this that will save them both time and money. By tapping into this market, you have a unique opportunity to secure your financial future and join the ranks of millionaires being created using AI technology. So, if you're ready to embark on this journey towards financial freedom and unlimited potential, then definitely keep watching. I guarantee that by the end of this video, you'll be equipped with your own knowledge and inspiration to start your own automation agency and pave the way to the life you've always wanted to live. But before we dive in, I should introduce myself if you're new to the channel. My name is Tyler Germain, and I own and operate an AI automation agency called Automation Unlocked. With over three years experience in the data analytics and automation space, I was able to scale my agency past five figures in a matter of just a few short months. If you follow me on Twitter, you've probably already seen a lot of this, and that's because I've been posting my journey over there. So make sure you give me a follow at It's Tyler Geraint. We help businesses of all sizes create fully custom AI solutions that integrate flawlessly with their tech stack and help save them tons of time and money. We started as just a regular automation agency, automating flows for businesses using Make.com and Zapier. But as AI solutions rapidly evolved, we started to build custom AI solutions for our clients. This supercharged the workflows for a lot of our clients and really allowed us to differentiate ourselves from an automation agency to an AI automation agency. I'm currently based out of Boston, Massachusetts, and my AI automation agency is on track to hit $20,000 cash collected in the month of July. An AI automation agency is a new type of online business that helps streamline operations and save time for all types of businesses. We work with clients on both a project or a retainer basis, and we really help our clients identify areas of their business that they could benefit most from in terms of AI productivity. When we meet with our clients, we walk through every single business process with them, going from start to finish, identifying the bottlenecks, and then determining what the best course of action will be in, in terms of what we should automate first. Now, I'm sure you have a ton of questions about the actual implementation of these services, and that's totally understandable. This is a new topic and there's a lot to learn. It sounds like something you would need to build custom coded solutions for every single client, but let me tell you right now, that is not the case. We leverage low code and no code tools to create reliable, successful automations that are guaranteed to see insane productivity gains for our clients. We then package these systems into unique offers for each client based on their unique needs and circumstances. So let's explore some of the services that we currently provide to our clients to give you an idea of what you can offer for your niche. One essential service that we offer for our clients is AI chatbots. These chatbots can have tons of different purposes, but for today, we're gonna to be focusing on lead generation. You know when you're on a website and there's a little chat bubble in the corner and you can ask it a question, but it usually takes an hour to respond? We developed a streamlined system to build these using custom trained data from your company that can answer any question your customers have in a matter of seconds. The best part is you can learn this exact same system and implement it for your clients in your niche. This chatbot will have a full conversation with your clients, answer any questions that they might have, then capture their lead data, add it to your CRM, so you have all of the information about that client in one place. That way, you know exactly what the client's looking for before you even get on a call to try and close them. We use these custom chatbots as a way to get our foot in the door with most businesses, as almost every single business in the world could benefit from having a highly trained sales agent directly on the homepage having conversations with its visitors. It becomes an absolute no-brainer for our clients to implement these systems. For almost all of our automations, we use Make.com as the backend infrastructure for facilitating our API calls. One of the most popular use cases for tools like Make.com and Zapier is connecting together a bunch of different softwares so that you can streamline your onboarding process. 
This way, you can have a consistent process in place. Your clients will have all the information they need when you start working together, and they'll have an idea of what the next few weeks working together will look like. You can capture this information for the onboarding sequence by sending your clients a form, filling out an internal form, using your CRM data, or even creating a custom AI chatbot that's purpose is built for onboarding automations. Now, generating new leads can definitely be difficult. And sometimes it feels like every business is getting those same cookie cutter cold messages from every lead gen agency out there. So you need to find a way to differentiate yourself if you wanna see real results from the campaigns that you're running. And that's exactly where AI can help. You can build a custom solution that scrapes, stores, and references data about a prospective client and then builds rapport with them in the very first message. This is something that we implemented for multiple clients of our agency and the return on investment has been insane. Lastly, writing content takes time. Sure, you can use ChatGPT to write a bunch of content, but that's still gonna take a lot of copy and pasting, formatting, and general tedious work that you wouldn't otherwise want to do. We have built a ton of custom content generation workflows for our clients, and they all serve a ton of different purposes. One of the most common pieces of content to generate using AI is blog posts, but we can take that same workflow, that same custom trained model, and we can have it create social media content for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram captions, etc. We can take that a step further, and we can begin generating image content with APIs like Banner Bear. If you wanna take it another step further, you can use text-to-speech translation and automatically generate audio for TikTok videos. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you do not need to learn how to code in order to start your AI automation agency. Most of the AI automation tools that we are using are actually quite simple, and you can learn the basics of them very quickly. Once you have the basics down, it becomes super easy to drag and drop custom scenarios into each of your client's accounts, essentially reusing what you've already created, but customizing it for each client. So there are three main things that you need to learn when starting your AI automation agency, and that's AI tools, infrastructure tools, and popular APIs. Now, before you go running around the internet and finding a bunch of different AI tools, it's important to take a step back and think about what we're trying to accomplish. You wanna make sure that the AI tool that you're looking at has an API. If it doesn't have an API, it can't be used in the workflow. For example, I would not go and learn Midjourney because Midjourney doesn't have an API at the moment. Midjourney is an extremely useful AI tool but without an API, it's not gonna be useful in our AI workflows. A better alternative if you wanna create generated images is using something like DALI or Leonardo AI. Make.com is perfect for automation while BotPress excels in creating custom chatbots. Each tool has its own purpose and they're used at different times. We typically build all of our infrastructure on top of make.com and we use BotPress whenever we need to use a custom chatbot solution. Now there is a lot of debate out there around choosing Make or Zapier. My advice would be to choose whatever product you think works best for your business. Eventually, it would be good to learn make.com as the features are a lot more advanced than they are on Zapier, but both of these tools will get the job done when you're first getting started. Lastly, it's important to know what an API is and how you interact with them. Automation tools typically come with lots of modules that have pre-configured API calls within them, but it's also important to know how to make those API calls yourself. If I was you, I would get started learning some of the more popular APIs like Google Sheets, Stripe, etc. Now, I'm gonna be releasing a full video on how you should get your first clients extremely soon, but for now, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of how I got my first client. You need to learn the skills that I mentioned in this video before going out and doing any paid work for any clients. The best way to learn these skills is by getting your hands dirty and starting to automate. So what I would tell you to do is take a step back, look at what you're doing on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, a monthly basis, in work at school, in your day-to-day -day life, and see what you can automate. You can automate your homework. You can automate those daily reports that you hate sending out. You can automate a reminder once a year so you never forget Mother's Day again. There are tons of opportunities for you to get started automating and you just need to identify those within your own life. In a later video, I'll walk you guys through a bunch of examples of workflows just in case you're getting stuck right now coming up with any ideas. Once you've automated enough things for yourself, 
You should reach out to friends and family and see if there's anything they're doing in their daily lives that you can help automate. This will help you get more experience and it'll allow you to do an automation for somebody else without having a paying client on the line. Now, I would reach out to business owners on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter, and you're gonna pitch them your service. But most importantly, you're gonna pitch them this service for free. Yeah, I said free. That's because you're not at a point where you can charge for your services yet. This is where the real experience is gained. Doing work for your friends or your family is completely different than doing it for a client, even if you're doing it for free, and you will definitely recognize that as you start to do the work. Once you've done this and you have a good amount of experience creating automations for both yourself and for others, it might be worth it to try and upsell your current client to a project-based fee. This is where you can start charging for your services. If you did a good job with your free work and there's more for them to automate, there's absolutely no reason they should be saying no. It's gonna save them both time and money, even though it's gonna be a small initial upfront investment. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If you're interested in learning more about how you can start your own AI automation agency, then make sure you click subscribe down below and hit the bell. Head down to the description and click the link to join our Discord that's full of AI automation agencies and enthusiasts. In there, you can connect with like-minded entrepreneurs, share ideas, or work together on projects. You can also follow me on social media at It's Tyler Germain, where I share helpful content on building your AI automation agency. Lastly, I'm gonna be giving away a free AI automation swipe file to somebody who comments on the video with their thoughts about AI automation down below. Make sure to do that so you have a chance to win. But that's all for this video, and I'll see you guys next week.